All right, this is Will's lesson. We're going to work with, uh, try to learn three open, or rather closed position uh, chord formations. And I better turn it so we can see the whole deal here. Huh? Okay. So these chord positions that we we're talking about, this first one on page 104, 103, are the closed shapes. And then don't forget that. There, when they have that little number to the left, that's the fret that they're talking about. And they're, they're showing you how to move these shapes up. All right, so the first one they call the bar shape, which just brings it, you know, that open G. And I'm going to leave this uh, fifth string out for now. We're just going to go up to the first fret. That is it. So here's the G on the open. Here's the G sharp, or A flat, as we talked about. Then I move it up one more fret. It's an A chord. If you remember, we had a, uh, a part on Blackberry Blossom, which just goes right, something like that, and that's out of a. There's a, a an F shape up here based on the fifth fret, and if you look at the book, that F shape up at the fifth fret is an A. And so is this an A at the second fret, a bar shape. Listen, you can hear their same chords. This one up here just has a higher note up here. Whoops. All right. And so we need these shapes so that we can play up the neck and, and kind of uh, have um, play. Eventually, the cool thing is you'll be able to jam using these, and when you got one banjo player uh, playing down low, you can move up and play in a higher position, and it'll just harmonize with them. All right, so the thing we're going to go is a G, G sharp, A flat, and the first fret, second fret. So as you move this up, it just changes its name, but the position's the same. Uh, a sharp, B flat, B. C, and we're going to use that C in our little exercise, aren't we, when we play? So then, all right, then the second shape that they talk about is the F shape. So, as low as it can go, this shape, closed position, is your index finger will be on the, um, on the first fret. And that's an F. Move it up one fret, it's an F sharp or a G flat, and move it up one more fret. Now you're at G, which is the same chord as the open chord on the banjo. Just a little bit different voicing. And what we're going to do, um, oh, and then the other, uh, the other um, shape is that, what they call the D shape. So that's going to be like the song that we play Red River Valley when we go out of this roll. Alright. And we're going to add the uh, second finger here on the, on the third fret second string and the pinky on the first fret I'm sorry, first string fourth fret. Now if you notice so that's a D chord right there. We play that that closed chord, and I'm going to play this D7 that we've used. It sounds a little bit different, but it's the same root, D. So, now if you, uh, I kind of showed you too that, so we have from this D shape to the F shape, if I were going to shift just at the same fret position to the F shape, Look at what happens. That these two fingers are the only ones that shift, right? These two stay here. The third and the fourth pinky stay, and these two shift. So we have this chord, which is a um, F shape, and you have this one, which is a D shape. Now we're going to do a little exercise with G, C, and D, and then back to G. And then we're going to start over. G, C. forward reverse roll, which is, and then we're going to
going to do that twice on each of these closed chords that we're going to be working with. And then you can end there on that thumb on the third string at the end of the second time through the forward reverse roll so that you can shift. So now I'm going to show you. First chord G. So this is a closed position G. Uh, Stop there with the thumb, and then I'm going to move to the closed position, C, here at the 5th fret. With the bar position. And then I'm going to go to the D shape, and we're going to actually be playing a D chord. Back to the G. That's going to be our little theory workout for this week.